Get some cat. No! No, I didn't, I didn't. Okay, guys, something I'm going to show you, right? Uh, let's say, as an example, you're given a random rectangle. And you're told this rectangle, it's part of a histogram. This rectangle represents, uh, let's say, we go for a nice number, 20 people. Is that okay? Actually, 100 people is better. This, this full rectangle represents 100 people. Is that okay? Now, the width of this, uh, the width of this rectangle is, let's for argument's sake, say 10. Okay? Now, what I might ask you guys is, if we were to take this, if this, if this was to read 0 to 10, as, as a histogram, okay? And I just ask you, how many people would be represented from 6 to 10? How many people would be represented by this part of the, uh, this part of the uh, rectangle? Do you have any idea how to do that? No, it is 40 people. How did you do that? Something like that, yeah. So what, what he's saying is that uh, Cormac did a, did a width to person ratio. So he said a width of 10 would equal 100 people because that's how much people we said are in it. So if, we, if, I, if I ask you how many people are in between 6 to 10, that would be a width of how much? It'd be a width of four. So a width of four would equal 40. Now, there's an in-between step there, okay? Now, let me explain what the in-between step is. The in-between step is to always find out what a width of one is, okay? So if you did a width of one, you find out it's 10 because it's 10 times smaller. And then you just multiply it by four to get 40, okay? We're going to use this trick in a uh, in a histogram question in a second. Uh, no, it, it will be chosen for you. So, guys, another example would be something like this. This time, is, uh, excuse me, this time the width is 4. Okay? This time the width is 4. It's from 0 to 4. That would be the same thing as me saying, look, imagine that this is actually not 0 to 4. It's 12 to 16. 12 to 16, would you all agree, is still a width of 4. Okay, and what I'm saying is that the question will randomly give you like a, a number. Okay, so with a four, I'll give us a nice number for this. Uh, 32. 32 people are in this, are, are represented by this rectangle. Is everybody happy with that? Now, what I want to find out is how many people are in between 15.2 to 16. So if you imagine 15.2 randomly being ticked off here, how many how many of your 32 would be represented from 15.2 to 16? Okay, now we'll work with this. Uh, first of all, what you write down underneath is... Shh. Okay, guys. How many people are represented from 15.2 to 16? So a width of 4 represents how many people? A width of 4 represents 32 people. What's the width from 15.2 all the way to 16? 0.8, isn't it? So, here's the problem, 0.8. Okay? Now, if we divide it by 4, what do we find out? A width of? A uh, width of 1, which is 8. A width of 1 represents 8 people. A width of 0.8, however, is going to be a smaller number than 8. So, how do we get that? Multiply 8 by 0.8 and you get roughly 6.4 people. Is that okay? Now, where this comes in, where this comes in is in questions like uh, you'll see in the next one, right? question 1 as an example. You're given a histogram. Now, you guys haven't even drawn histograms yet. You'll be doing that later on today. So, what would happen here is you look at your, uh, you look at your chart here. This, uh, the y-axis represents the number of people. The x-axis represents like something like uh, age. So as an example, how many people are in between 0 to 10 years old according to my chart here? That's 10 and that would be 5. 5 people. Uh, just for the record, we're, now we're, we're filling out this chart. Okay. Now, if we get 5 for the first one, 10 to 20 is 10 people. 20 to 30, we can see is 60 people. We can see that the next one is 50, 40 to 50, 
Uh, 25, I'd say, I'd say 30 is about there, and 25. And then after that, 50 to 60. Uh, you can just draw a line, you can use like a ruler, but I'll just draw lines going straight across. So, uh, 20 people, yeah. Okay. Now, does it tell me how many people have been interviewed or whatever? It doesn't actually tell me that at all, so it could, I add them all up together to find out how many people are at the meeting. 15, 75, 125, 150, 170. Everybody cool enough with that? 170. Now, would everybody be confident of being able to draw that in the opposite direction? If I gave you the table, would you be confident you could draw the graph? 0 to 10 means draw 0 to 10, go up 5. 10 to 20 means continue it on from 10 to 20, go up all the way up to 10, because there's 10 people from 10 to 20. I'm going to be asking you to draw them later on as well. Okay? Now, given that the distribution has a mean of 43 and a standard deviation of 15, Mark on the diagram uh, the mean minus the standard deviation and the mean plus the standard deviation. Hence, estimate the number of people in the interval, how many people are between these two scores. So we'll write down the two scores first and foremost. What's 43 minus 15? That's 28. 43 plus 15? Uh, 58. Okay. 28 and... 58, are you happy enough with that? Okay, now guys, here's where the trick comes in, and please be aware of this, all right? 28 is located here. That's 28. And 58 is located here. Okay? Now, what it's asking me is, how many people are between the score of 28 and 58? Now, what's your description of that? We have... Please pay attention, this is really hard. Okay. We have part of a rectangle, don't we? We have a full rectangle, a full rectangle, and then we have part of a rectangle. Now, the easy marks are in the, the full rectangles. How many people are in a rectangle A and B? In between 30 to 40, there's uh, 50 people, and then in between uh, 40 to 50, there's 25 people, which means in, in rectangles A and B represents 75 people. Is everybody happy with that? Okay, so we have uh, we have 75 or 50 plus 25, and that's the easy marks made. Okay, now to go on to the hard marks. The hard marks are located for 20 to 30. We haven't got the full rectangle. We in fact have this part here. Everybody aware of that? Okay. Now, here's how we do this. It used to be a width of 10. Would you agree with that? So what, a width of 10, how much is a width of 10 worth for this particular rectangle? A width of 10 is worth 60 people. What do we currently have? A width of 2. So we're going for a width of 2. Is a width of 2 worth more or less than 60? It's worth less. How many times less? Uh, five times less. Uh, <coughs> okay. Shh. Guys, come on. Right. Uh, a width, the full width of 10 implies that you're using the full rectangle. And in this full rectangle, it's, it, it tells you that there's 60 people in this rectangle. We, in our question, were told, asked how many people are in between 28 and 58. Yeah? So therefore, we're not using all of the red rectangle anymore. We're only using the little, uh, this part here. So we can't include all 60 people. We have to include a portion of the 60 people. So what we're doing on the top right-hand side is trying to work out how, what portion of the people we're going to use. Okay? So when, it, when, we have, when we have a width of 10, which is from 20 to 30, that is worth all 60 people. We're not using a width of 10. We're now using a width of... 2. The reason we're using a width of 2 is because we said earlier that it's from 28 up to 30. Because uh, in our question it says start, start at 28. So 28 to 30 is a width of 2 for that particular rectangle. That rectangle ends in 2, two, two points time. 
So what we do is, we can do it this way. We can find out what a width of 1 is for us. What's width of 1 worth? Width of 1 is 6, because it's 10 times smaller. What's a width of 2 worth? Huh? 12. That means in this little part, there's going to be 12 people. That's 12 people plus or 50 plus or 25. What, what about what's next, guys? We have to find how many people are in this part here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna draw them blue. Okay, for this question, how much is a width of ten worth this time for this particular rectangle? A width of ten is worth twenty people. How much is a width of uh, one worth? Two. How much is a width of eight worth? Sixteen people. So that means sixteen people are in between fifty and fifty-eight. Uh, because it's in between 58 and 28. In this part, it's only this little part here. But in this part, I'm including all of this. So it's a much bigger portion of the rectangle. Okay, so therefore, what happens next, guys? Uh, we, we get uh, 16 people. So we add on 16. That's 75 plus 16 is 91. 91 plus 12 is 103 people. Our question was, estimate the number of people in this interval. We're estimating that there's 103 people in this interval. Is that okay? Now, last one of the day. Uh, question, that was question one. This one here is a uh, question. This one here is question uh, four. Everybody take out question four in your book. It's two pages time. Question four. Okay. Lads, will you guys call me out the numbers, please, for the uh, for the graph? So zero to two is how many people? Zero to two. Eight people, yeah. Uh, two to four is six. After that, eight. eight. Six to eight. Twelve. Eight to ten. Six, I'd say. Six. After that, guys. 10 to 12? What? 20? Was it? 32? Yeah. 32. Now. Okay. Assume that data can be taken at the mid interval values. Calculate the mean. Excuse me, guys. How would you calculate the mean again for these? Mid interval values. What is the mid interval values? 1. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. 11. Shh. Now, guys, shh. you can do it this way if you want. Mode, uh, stat function, one, uh, one variable. So, I get the, what am I doing? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. I think I'm doing 11. I am doing 11, okay? Then, my frequency mode is what? 8 people after that. Six people after that, eight people after that, twelve people after that, six and thirty-two. I then go to shift stats variable, calculate the mean as number two. Seven point seven two. Okay, seven point seven two. Now, if you happen to forget that, the other way of doing it is to multiply everything out like this. So you'd basically get a, if somebody multiplies 11 by 32 for me, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'm going to get 8 plus 18 plus 40 plus 84 plus 54. 352. Okay. And then if I divide all those numbers, shh, that's, the, that's the combined distance of every student. Eight students do one kilometer according to the mid interval value. Six students do three kilometers according to the mid interval value. That's where I'm getting the eight and the 18 from. I add them all up together to get the total distance. Shh. This, in effect, guys, is total distance divided by total students. How many students do I have in total? 38, uh, 50, 58, 54, 62. We go again, 14, 22, 34, 40, 72. 
Uh, sorry, just go for that one more time. I keep forgetting. 14, 22, 34, 40, 72. Okay, and as discussed, that's going to get me 7 points. 7-2. 7 2, yeah. Okay. Shh. Yeah. Like last time, estimate the percentage. This time it's looking for the percentage, isn't it? It's not looking for the total, it's looking for the percentage. Percentage is uh, how many people you, you have, how many divided by total multiplied by 100 over 1. Okay, that's what we're looking at. Now, it tells us that uh, it's in between a standard deviation plus or minus. So what's the sta we haven't got the standard deviation yet, have we? But I, I used the uh, mid-interval values here in my calculator. So shift, stat, variable, standard deviation, 3.56. I'm going to round that off to 3.6, okay? So two decimal places, no, I'm not. So 3.56. Now, shh. Ready for this now? Okay, guys. Excuse me? There's two scores, okay? The two scores are this. It's going to be the mean. It's your 7.72. Within What does within one standard deviation mean? One standard deviation below, one standard deviation above. Plus or minus. Can somebody add 3.56 onto that and somebody take it away? Give me the two answers, please. 10 point. It's not 10.78, it's 11 point. 11.28. Just make sure you do it properly, guys. 11.28. I haven't got the energy to be redone everything. What's the next part? Uh, take away 7.72, take away 3.56. I reckon 4.16. Okay. Now, guys, here's a tricky one, okay? Shh. This one's really tricky, so have a look. You have to go 4.16 all the way to 11.2a. So... 4.16 is located in here, and 11.2a is located here. This is a much trickier version of what we did earlier. Can anybody tell me how many people are in rectangle A and B? Rectangle A and B? Sorry? 12 and 6, okay? So rectangle A and B is 12 and 6. That's, that's no bother, okay? So we have 12 people and 6 people. You've made an attempt. You're on, you're, on, you're, on the, you're on the board, okay? After that, we have to get this one here. Now, here's the really hard part. We normally have a width of what? Normally have a width of 2, don't we? 4 to 6 is a width of 2. A width of 2 is worth how much for this particular triangle or rectangle? Width of 2 is worth 8 people. What is our new width going to be? Paddy? What's our new width? 4.16 to 6. What's the width of that? A width of 1.84. So, what you need to do is you need to divide by 2 to figure out how much a width of 1 is worth. It's worth 4. Then multiply 4 by 1.84 to get a width of... What is a width of 1.84 worth? The six, no, the four to six block, because we want we want this part here. We want the majority of that block, not all of it. Okay, so four to six is worth how much again, guys? So two people is uh, sorry, a width of two is worth eight people. A width of one is worth four people. What's four times one point eight four? Anybody got it? Four times one point eight four, guys. Come on. 7.36, thank you. It's close to full, isn't it? It's close to the full block, so it's worth 7.36 people. Is that okay? Go to the last one. Okay, what's the last one worth? Uh, the normal width of 2 is worth how many people? So that's, uh, I'll mark this off as 7.36. Normally the width is worth how many people for the last one? 32 people, right? It's normally worth 32 people. So what's a width of 1 worth? 16. Now what's our new width? It's 10 to 
10 to 1.2 way. How many people are in there? 1.28. So is it bigger than 16 or smaller than 16? Is it bigger than 32 or smaller than 32? Smaller. So somewhere in between. So what's 1.28 multiplied by 16? 20 points? 48. Perfect. So this part here is now 20.48. All I got to do is add up all three of them together now. Okay? So 7.36 plus 12 plus 6 plus 20.48. That is 45.84 people out of 72. So maybe 46 out of 72. Okay, so 45.84. So uh, 45.84 people out of 72 multiplied by 100. And what you get? Multiply by 100. 63 points. Six seven percent, yeah, because in this question it was very specific to ask me the percentage. Okay.